Hi there, I'm Alfa Tawarek. Today we're going to talk about alternative ways of using processing power in your computer. So there is this company called GPU Audio that are experimenting with using your GPU, the graphic uh, processing power of your computer to process uh, audio. Apparently that will make stuff very, very efficient. And you can assign pretty heavy tasks in sort of like reverb plugins and stuff like that without any latency at all. Basically you have a whole untapped resource in your computer since the, the graphic part of your computer it's barely used when we work with audio. So we have this amazing amount of power in the computer that we can now use. This is just starting up. Uh, they have a couple of free plugins. If you're a Windows user, you can download the free uh, plugins. They have a delay, reverb, some choruses, uh, flanger and stuff like that. Uh, I'm a Mac user, so unfortunately I only have one plugin that's working right now and it's a convolution reverb called FIR Convolver. But I'm going to try it out today. But first, uh, talking about Reverb, last week uh, we had the 13,000 subscriber celebration and uh, Christian Kohler from Kohler Audio Cult was kind enough to give away three licenses uh, of his new plugin, the Rotten Pool Verb. And I'm going to announce the winners now. I have a list here with everyone who subscribed to my email list signing up for that video. So. My girlfriend is sitting over there, so she's going to help me select. I'm just going to scroll up and down the list and uh, she's going to say, she's going to shout stop. First winner, we're going to start now. If you say stop. Stop. And we have a Swedish guy, Henrik Hansson. Uh, I will send you an email and uh, I think me or Christian Kolo will send you the, the license for the reverb. Congratulations. And now for the second winner, if you say stop. Stop. And then we have Samuel Berkemping. I'm sorry for butchering your name. Um, yeah, I'm going to add you to the list. I'm going to contact you. And now for the third and final winner. Uh, let's start from the top. Okay, you say stop. Stop. Already. Uh, we have a guy called Christian. So Christian is going to reach out to you, Christian, to give you the <laughs> license for the Rotten Pool Verb. So back to GPU Audio. I can read what it says on their website. GPU Audio is the world's first and only GPU-based audio processing technology. By offloading DSP onto the computer's local or remote GPU, it dramatically increases performance by allowing real-time parallel audio processing making complex audio processing a breeze. So if we have a look at the FIR Convolver, apparently you can run 512 channels uh, in real time with only one milliseconds of latency. So I thought I'm just gonna fire up a project I've been working on lately with a band called Sidestep. Uh, I don't have 512 channels on it, but we're gonna try to put this uh, reverb on all the channels and uh, see if uh, my processor can handle it. Okay, so first off, the FIR uh, Convolver Reverb uh, only works in Logic and Reaper on Mac at the moment because it's an audio unit plugin. Um, so I imported some tracks here into Reaper. I'm not super efficient in Reaper, so you have to excuse me. <laughs> this is basically just straight off the recording, set up some levels and panning. Um, sounds like this. So we have 37 tracks. Let's see if we can find a performance meter. Here we have it. Uh, I have a little compression on the snare, on the drum bus, and some limiting on the master fader. Yeah, so we're around 8% in CPU usage 
uh, in total and uh, the total amount of eight effects that I'm using uh, is using like half of that. So let's listen to the FIR reverb. We have it here, I think. Yep. The convolver. I set it up on impulse response number seven. Not that it's super useful for what we're doing exactly now, but. So as you can hear, it's pretty long reverb. Um, and I'm thinking just let's create a really, really good mix by placing this reverb on. All right, so now I have the FIR Convolver on every single track, uh, 37 tracks. Let's listen to how amazing this mix will sound now. Wasn't too bad actually. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the CPU usage. Okay, so now we have uh, 44 instances of effects, which of 37 is uh, really long uh, convolution reverbs, and we're only up on like 4% CPU usage still. Um, just for the fun of it, we can try to double it. So, uh, I managed to get up uh, until channel 22 with double instances of uh, this reverb plugin. Then the CPU usage for the effects started to act a little weird. I don't really know what that's about. I'm not a computer engineer, so I'm not sure if that means that my GPU is uh, bugging down or uh, if there's something else in the plugin that takes up CPU usage. But still pretty insane that you can load this many stereo uh, reverbs basically without affecting the CPU usage of your computer. Uh, another cool thing with the plugin is that you can load your own IRs into it, not as intuitive as some other IR loaders, but you, if you find a folder in the plugins direct directory on your computer, you can just load your own plugins there. I made a little IR of the room we have here in the studio. Uh, I'm going to show you because I used it on um, on this recording. Now we're going to do a little experiment. Uh, for the vocals in this recording, uh, I also used the same room mics as I used for the drums. So I can show you the drums first. You may have seen me before talking about uh, the Periscope microphones that I use in the live room uh, to make the room sound really big on drums, and this is what it sounds like. So I use the same room mics on when we record the vocals to kind of place the vocalist in the same room to give it more of a lively vibe. Well, this will release closed fist in the bucket. Oh, my fleece, you like it old shoe. No soul, I won't answer to you. Some don't like me. I like me, you know, sure. Fucking throw what fuck with that. Really? So uh, I put a PA speaker out there in the same position as the, the vocalist was standing and I ran a sweep and I took it in, um, made it into an IR, and now we're going to see if we can load that into the plugin. So here's the IRs that are in the plugin by default. Uh, not sure which one of them 
correlates to which number. So we'll just take this away. Here are the room IRs I made. I made them in, uh, in a bunch of different sample rates because the, the plugin itself doesn't, at the moment, it doesn't adapt to the set sample rate. So you have to load the correct sample rate of the IR into it. So now we're at 44.1. So we'll take that one, put it in here. So we're back in Ripper. Uh, I just noticed I removed all the original uh, impulses and put in only one of my own to be sure which one I was using since I don't know which one correlates which, with which uh, file. But that just made the uh, Reaper crash on startup. So apparently there has to be 10 files in the folder just so you know. So if you want to put your own impulse responses in there, make sure there are 10 files to choose from. So I found out at least that uh, my impulse response is on number 10. So it sounds like this. Well, this will release closed fist in the pocket of oh, Flix you like. So you can try to disable it and solo with this. Well, this will release closed fist in the pocket of oh, Flix you like you don't show. No solo won't away. answer to you. Some don't like me. I like me and I'm sure. Fucking throw what fuck with that. Really? Sounds pretty close. Well, this will release closed fist in the pocket of oh, Flix you like you don't show. No solo won't answer to you. Some don't like me. Like me and I'm sure. Fucking throw what fuck with that. This technology is super interesting and I can't wait to see what will happen with it when it evolves a bit and you get more plugins to, to choose from. And also if other plugin companies get in on this technology and uh, make it possible to use the GPU as processing power for their plugins too. Some stuff would be amazing for this, like having certain emulations on during recording and stuff like that. Uh, basically a little bit like uh, UAD, but you ha already have the processing, the extra processing in your actual computer. The IR I made uh, in this room here, uh, I want to give it to you. Uh, give me, give me your email address and I will give you the IR. Uh, just sign up information here below and you will get it immediately and you can try it either in this plugin uh, in FIR Convolver or in any other Convolution Reverb plugin where you can load your own IRs. And um, yeah, thank you so much uh, for watching to the end and uh, subscribe if you haven't already and see you probably next week. So bye-bye, cheers.